different crudes, actually, it's quite interesting, coming straight back to crude oil, have different uh, operational carbon intensity. So some of them are going to cost more to, to process and refine, and some of them have to move over greater distances and thus have a greater carbon footprint. And if we have to pay for carbon, those crudes are going to go up, their cost is going to go up. Um, so crudes that have to travel a long distance, I'm not sure about Algeria, but then as well, if it's available. Now I've come to, I was looking at Mexican, Our Mexican is heavy, not very good quality, but doesn't travel very far. So maybe it's carbon intensity isn't so great. But for certain grades of, of, of oil, so oil from the UK is pretty close to a destination market, although it doesn't always stay uh, around Europe, it can go further afield. So we have some, uh, we have some low quality crudes with a, with a low carbon uh, footprint simply because they don't have to travel very far. Um, but if we are low quality crude and a big distance, then, then potentially the, the cost of the crude goes up because of the cost of processing the carbon. Um, and and the uh, impact on volumes. So I did study this chart and have a look at it quite carefully. I need to think about it. Um, yeah, so the highest quartile of carbon intensity, the, the most intensive. So we'll see a reduction in our rapid change in, in the worst grades of crude. And, in, and if we are going to use um, crude, it's going to be we're using the, those crudes with, with the, the lowest carbon intensity because they become cheaper because the cost of carbon has a real impact on the cost of, of different grades of crude oil. So that's just a message to take from there.